Hey guys, what's up? Team Maddie back here again. Today we're gonna to be talking about some things, some changes that I'm doing to my workout program. Maybe you can take from this a little bit or at least give me some advice down below and tell me what you think about it. So for the longest time, I was doing either a push-pull split six days a week, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, push, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, pull. Um, other than that though, for a long time, I've been doing a three-day full body split. The only problem with this is that by the end of my workout, I'm usually pretty exhausted, especially if I'm doing heavy compounds at the beginning like squats or deadlifts. And other than that, I just find that I don't really get enough time or enough sets to put in to really progress in any one lift. So I feel like I plateau a lot and I feel like I've just been kind of stuck recently. Um, in order to combat this, I'm gonna do a, bit, a little bit of specialization. So I've decided that instead of just a three day a week full body split, I've kind of broken it up into four days of lifting. Yeah, four days, but a little differently. So on Mondays, it's gonna be like a push day, but with a big emphasis on shoulders and chest. So like, instead of just doing like all my lifts in one day and trying to like hit a workout for each muscle group, I really hit my shoulders and I spend a lot of time on military press or dumbbell uh, press, uh, like an Arnold press or something like that. And then, you know, I, I do a lot of like, I, or I spend several sets of bench press um, instead of just doing like three sets and then moving on to the next body part, I really want to try to actually progress with the weights and actually do um, drop sets and things that like help me feel like I'm getting stronger so I can push more weight. I want to be um, better at the bench press. I want to bench press more. Same thing for my deadlift. So, um, and my squat. So for that matter, Tuesdays are gonna be my uh, squat days. I'm literally just gonna go in the gym and do nothing but squats. I'm not gonna kill myself and do like 100 reps of squats or whatever, but I'm going to really focus on my squats and my squat form and getting the weight and the proper rest time. But I'm also gonna be doing some running on Tuesdays as well for my marathon training. Wednesday is gonna be my pull day basically, essentially, but you know, I'm gonna start with deadlifts and everything's gonna revolve around deadlifts. And then I'm gonna do like pull-ups and rows and things for my back and my biceps, stuff like that. So, but you know, the main emphasis is gonna be deadlifts. I wanna get better at deadlifts. I wanna get bigger, better at, um, I want to get better at all the, the big three one, you know, lifts, bench, squat, and deadlift. Then Thursday, I'm gonna do nothing but rest. That's gonna be my day to just chillax, hang out, rest. Fridays, I would like to do a full body lift again. So after I rest, then I do a full body lift where I hit everything all together at once to, you know, make sure everything gets hit at least twice in the week and then Saturday and Sunday are gonna be running days. And I think that's going to be how my schedule is gonna look for a while. Uh, I've noticed my bench press has severely dropped. I was doing 225 and now I can barely do 185 for five again, um, even with gaining some weight. And I think it's just because I don't do it enough. I don't do, I was doing dumbbell bench for a long time and that has gone up, but my barbell bench has declined and it's just, I just don't do it. There's some lifts where I have to take a break off of it for a couple months because if I keep going, I just, I can't stand it. And I'm sure you're all the same and I'm sure that's probably the um, prescribed way to do things anyway, because of course you plateau, your joints get a little weak. I'm gonna be trying to do other things on my Tuesdays or and my other running days, which is like foam rolling, stretching, and like joint exercise to make sure everything stays up to par. I think that's very important. It's something that I definitely lack on and I'm trying to get better on and I think it's definitely something that a lot of people lack on. We all focus on the exercise and the breaking down of the muscles. But we never really focus on the recovery and the rest and the foam rolling and the stretching. Like the other day I actually took time to stretch my hamstrings out in my legs and they were sore the next day uh, from just stretching because I never stretch. I hardly ever stretch. I actually took like a good solid half an hour to just stretch out and it was um, it's interesting and it made me realize I need to do that a lot more. I think it's really important. It helps with mobility. It helps with uh, injuries down the road because, you know, when your hamstrings are tight, that pulls on your calves and that pulls on your Achilles tendons as well. So if one muscle part is tight or like lagging, then it affects the whole thing because it's, it's like a chain. You're only as strong as your weakest link, so everything's got to work together. Um, so that's just uh, an update, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go lift here real quick.
but my knee is tinging every time I go down left knee. Not feeling so great. Right knee doesn't feel that great either. I don't know what it is. I've actually taken some time off of, um, you know, squats and leg extensions and just been doing different forms of squats, such as zerker squats and front squats and hack squats off the ground with the barbell behind you. But maybe it's just because I just jumped right back into regular squats. I mean, my form is a little less than desirable for the weight I'm trying to go for. I've also noticed that my weight has decreased significantly. I can no longer do, actually I think I did 10 reps last Wednesday of 225 today. I could only get six and then another set of three and I just was not feeling it. But I used to be able to do 275. I think it's just, I've lost too much weight and I haven't actually built back up on my squats. I've never gone back to them and really tried. So I'm taking a whole day out to just dedicate like an hour to squats and squatting. So that's my plan now. This injury is coming at the wrong time because I am trying to train running for a marathon. So it's hard to consistently train running while trying to work out hard as, you know, as I've been doing, trying to body build, so to speak, and strength train. And, you know, I'm also trying to run great distances, which puts a lot of, um, puts a lot of stress on my joints, to be honest. Endurance running just does that, it, cause it's hard on your whole body. So those are like, think about it, like if I run for an hour or two hours, that's a, that's a two hour workout on my body. I'm just putting my body through a lot of stress and now my knee is starting to hurt. So this is just not a good time, but hopefully I can get through it. We're going to persevere and we're going to prove that we can do this and that we're gonna get through it and we're gonna hit this marathon in October and we're gonna keep bodybuilding and maybe hit a show up that around that time too. So you guys take it easy, it's been a great vlog. Stay natty, Team Natty out.